Yo, it's your boy Elijah Connor. You're watching the BMI Know Them Now series. Come on, get to know me. To describe my musical style would be um, eclectic. You know, um, I'm not really one dimensional though. You know, a lot of artists are only one dimensional. Um, I can do your R&B records and just sing. You know, I can also uh, make you dance, you know, hip hop. I, I can take you to church too, you know what I mean? Um, so I think that's very important in this day and age to um, to be um, eclectic. And in this day and age where a lot of artists are just one dimensional, um, I'm blessed to, to be able to tap different genres, but still keep my core audience. An album or song that has uh, really influenced my life Let's just keep in the family and say Purple Rain. I mean, <laughs> uh, Prince was, uh, I feel like, the musical goat. Uh, Purple Rain, it's the most perfectly composed record of all time, if you ask me. I mean, from the music to the lyrics to just, hey, go back and listen. You'll see what I'm talking about. The hardest thing that I think a lot of people don't know about being a musical creator is uh, we are perfectionists. Well, at least I am. I know sometimes I don't feel like I gotta go do that verse another six times. And it's like, yo, it'll never be perfect. And I think a lot of times I'm learning myself, I'm still learning that um, it's the error that we think we hear in the record that makes it what it is that makes it a hit so um you know uh with artists a lot of times people just want us to focus on music all the time but it's like you gotta let us live because that's when you get the best records allow us to like you know live our lives man and we we like to party we like to hang out with our friends we like to just take a break too and a lot of times in doing that we create some of the best lyrics, some of the best stories that we can put into our music for you all. You know what I mean? So if you just allow us to give us some time to just really live our lives, that way we can give you great music. Uh, the first piece of advice I would give someone starting the music industry would be um, just to be confident. And no matter what, be authentically you. Meaning uh, stay genuine to yourself. You know, because if nothing else, one thing the consumer can see is when you're not being yourself. So yeah, just, just be confident, you know what I mean? If you're gonna sing a bad note, be confident in it, but just make sure your next note is your best note. You feel me? So um, just, just, you know, stay authentically you, be confident, and uh, you can win, man. In five years, I see myself as like the Tyler Perry of music. You know, I have my own company, CKI, um, kind of Creations International, um, where I will be developing other superstars, um, helping make their dreams come true, giving them a platform, as well as really um, diving even into television, um, from docu-series to reality TV, um, really showcasing other artists and uh, following my life, as well as uh, showing how I'm giving other people platforms, man. So I really just want to give back give back to uh, my city, man, of Detroit. There's so much talent there and just talent around the world, you know what I mean? So tapping into that as well, as well as of course, I'm gonna have a dozen BMI uh, awards by then, but uh, really just uh, continuing the brand. I'm already living the life. I'm already blessed with the life I'm living, um, but hey man, just really continuing the legacy and, uh, and building. Ah. Uh, Mama, I made it moment. I mean, I came out the womb with Mama, I made it. It's like, uh, let me see. Uh, my Mama, I made it moment. <sighs> you know what? I would say Elijah, I made it moment. 
And what I mean by that is, um, of course, everybody knows I did this TV show called Before. And um, although I didn't win the show, um, it catapulted me to um, a level I couldn't even have dreamed of. I'll make a long story short, I went to um, a Revolt conference in uh, 2019, right, like right before the pandemic, um, Diddy's Revolt conference, and I was sitting like in the second or third row, and uh, Diddy had walked in, sat in the front row, you know, with his crew, and uh, he turned around and stared, kind of did the stare down, and uh, we laughed it off, and I said, oh, I thought you hated me, man. He was like, man, I'm proud of you, bro. And that really caught me by surprise because um, I hadn't seen him since the show, you know? And he said, I'm proud of you because you were able to take this loss and this L and turn it into a W. And uh, I never really got a chance to salute Diddy for that, man. So I want to say salute, man, because um, the, the show, you, you taught me something. And what I want to say to artists is, what you may think is a loss can actually be a win for you but it's all about paying respect and saluting the people who gave you the opportunity. And I think it's because of how I walked off stage and just saying, yo, thank you. But I had enough confidence to know like, listen, it's gonna pop either way. So I just wanna, I just wanna encourage every um, singer, songwriter, aspiring uh, actor, whatever you do, rapper, to, to just stay authentically you, be confident and perfect your craft, man. Because at the end of the day, you can win. So I want to thank BMI for giving me this platform and opportunity to get to know me. You've been watching the BMI Know Them Now series. It's your man's Elijah Connor. We out.